Good evening, VES. I am going to read a story tonight that I loved as a kid. It is called The Ice Cream Cone Coot and Other Rare Birds. And I loved it because of the pictures. So if I can get my videographer to focus on the pictures, maybe you'll enjoy it as much as I did. I hope so. All the birds inside this book are very strange and rare, and if you travel to the zoo, you will not find them there. Don't look for them in nature books, in parks or pet shop cages. The drippet, piffle, and the rest live only on these pages. All ladies agree, this bird is worth knowing. The pincushion piffle will help with the sewing. When the drippet runs along the street, he leaves little puddles, so watch your feet. For writing a list or maybe a letter, the pencil keep parrot could hardly be better. Vanilla and chocolate, lemon and lime, the ice cream cone coot is a treat anytime. This bird will tip his empty head. He'll ask you please to fill it. Pour tea into the cup of tea and take care not to spill it. The shutter cluck will never sing, nor will he ever fly. But he can take your picture when he clicks his big round eye. The dirtiest bird is the garbage canary. He lives in conditions quite unsanitary. Oxtail, split pea, beef broth, cream of tomato. Down in hot jungles, steaming and dark, hear the loud calls of the soup ladle lark. Chicken noodle, clam chowder, minestrone, borscht. I do not trust a jackknife nippy. He could swoop down and cut off your nose in a jiffy. All the button beaks are small. Their shape is neatly round. Look down upon your shirt front. That's where they can be found. The milk bottle midge is a bird highly prized. He is friendly and round and homogenized. The cut it up snippet makes holes in the trees. He clips all the leaves off and does it with ease. Each day you must water your flower pot plume. The buds in his bird brain are certain to bloom. The broom whisk is a well-known bird and one you may have seen. Your mother uses him daily to keep her household clean. The 10 o'clock tit thrush takes to the skies. He soars high above us and time really flies. The gramophone goldfinch will beautifully sing. Just put on a record and wind up the spring. Showers and storms please the wet weather wren. When the cloud burst is over, he flies home again. These high button bobo links croon to the night. One fits to the left foot, one fits to the right. The plug socket swift is a high voltage bird. His head is a light bulb, or so I have heard. Ironing clothes will make them lie flat. The steam presser sparrow is good for just that. The salt shaker shrike has the shakes for good reasons. You'll love him when tasting the food that he seasons. The sharp saw macaw is ever so gentle. Those teeth that you see are just ornamental. Over our heads, the key cranes are flocking, looking for doors that might need unlocking. The water glass goose can't be dropped on the floor. If this one should break, there just aren't any more. The dollar bill dodo is easy to spot. He is made of green paper and worth quite a lot. 
Instead of fine feathers, as most other birds, the newspaper peeper is covered with words. A good friend to know is the safe crossing crow. The red eye means stop, the green eye means go. And here we see the glove dove poised in lofty flight. He doesn't know that pointing is considered impolite. Yes, all the birds inside this book are very strange and rare, and I repeat it would be hard to find them anywhere. So do not search your neighborhood with cage or trap or net, for not a single boy or girl has ever caught one yet. I hope you enjoyed this book that I used to love to read when I was a kid. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.